Hi everyone, SoCal Marine, another quick and dirty video. Prop seals on a budget, relatively speaking, with minimal tools. I'm going to cover uh, Mercruiser and Volvo Penta. Um, I only have two drives here, but they're all very similar. Um, so let's just get right to it. Um, this is a Mercruiser Alpha 1, Alpha 2, same setup. Um, and then you get the Bravos, which are a little different. And then you get the Duo props, Volvo Penta, they, they have very long prop shafts out to here. And then um, this down here is just a Volvo Penta uh, single prop. You can tell by the short shaft. And I'm just quickly going to go over the basics. Um, they all do vary a little, but the principle is the same. This is the housing and inside here sits what's called the bearing carrier all right i have a broken one here to show you exactly how it sits inside the casing all right there it is and this is what you're trying to pull out of the case like so no resistance on the inside but it has this big o-ring over here and then it has the shoulder this is broken it's got half of a chunk missing uh, someone put the puller legs on the edges over here instead of in the reinforced areas and this is what happens so let that be a initial right off the bat i mean a, a lesson don't try and pull off the sides over here make sure you get your puller legs right under these webs okay but anyways so the problem you're going to have is when this thing has not been opened and greased for a long time which is very often the case if you're in fresh water less so um, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate, at least in my experience at the shop, the four most common types available on the market today. Okay. At the very least, these are the special tools that you're going to require. Um, there's no way around it. Okay. Um, these two are Volvo Penta. This is for the newer duo props. Um, you'll see it has a very odd butterfly shape. Um, the carrier kind of fits on the outside of this and there is no way you can get it out without this tool. So if you're working on a Volvo Penna, um, single or duo prop, most of the duo props use this style. And it has this kind of a wavy ring at the top. This is the tool you need. Um, just search online for it. You know, there are a lot of aftermarket tools that work just fine. You don't have to go spend $5 million on OEM. This is for the um, earlier style Volvo Penta like the one I have down here um, by the way this company I'm completely unaffiliated and I'm not getting anything for this Marine Tech Tools very very cool company I have a couple of their tools awesome stuff really cool stuff and very reasonably priced 80 bucks for this I mean you know seriously very very heavy duty now as you can see is I'm just going to demonstrate how that fits over that triangulated section down there you see you put a big breaker in there so i'm just demonstrating how these fit onto the different styles moving over here this is the mercruiser alpha one gen one and gen two and um, it pretty much slides over the top and it's going to lock into the lock ring now the lock ring is not installed in this one let me just demonstrate here. i actually have all the parts loose so this lock ring would usually be sitting at the top like so. That's the first thing you're going to see when you take the prop off, right? Is this. And you can see how this tool grabs these rings. Okay. Don't try and beat on this with a screwdriver. It is not going to work. Um, and that obviously has a thing at the back that says off with an arrow. Which tells you that this is the back side. All right. And then lastly, this is the Bravo, uh, especially the duo props, but the Bravos require some serious duty stuff. This is OEM. Um, it was pretty intricate, but that is a very cheap spanner wrench. I bought it for like 25 bucks and it works a treat. I don't even care that it's rough cut. It does what it needs to do. So Bravos, you're gonna be in for a little bit more money, um, but for the most part, you know, you're going to need one of these depending on what you're working on. Okay, now, 
like I said, the principle is going to be the same. You're going to have a case, you're going to have a lock ring, and you're going to have a carrier. And um, most often than not, you're going to have a washer. So I'm going to just demonstrate on the, um, the Mercruiser what you're going to have in order of stack. Okay, so this is with the case obviously not being demonstrated. So as I said, you've got the bearing carrier sitting down there. This is in the case. Um, and you're going to have a lock ring like this. Now the triangle goes at the 12 o'clock position. And it sits in that little groove over there. Okay. And usually what you'll find is um, some of these little tabs are bent downwards. And you don't have to bend those. And then one of them will be bent up. So once you've put your, your locking ring in, it's always good to go backwards a bit. These are fine threads. And that really helps you get it lined up. Once you've tightened this all the way down, then you'll find one of these tabs are bent up just to lock it. So when you go to take this apart, you got your prop off. The first thing you're going to do is look for which of these tabs is bent upwards, locking this ring. You're going to knock it down with a flat screwdriver. And you're going to take your tool and get ready to unscrew it. Now I'll cover that in a second. All right, I'm just demonstrating this on the, on the Merc Cruiser because a lot of guys are like fighting with this thing and they don't even realize that there's a little washer underneath that's actually going to stop this from coming out all right so just pay attention to that um, let me set this down um, and the principle is the same so on this Volvo there's actually a recessed Allen screw right in there you see over there that little hole let me see if I get my finger on it right here that takes a little uh, Allen screw that locks that carrier in so <laughs> you're going to try and unscrew this you're going to have troubles and bear in mind this is a screw type carrier it literally screws out of the case the Merc cruisers pull out they don't thread okay this this thing just kind of sits there um, okay so we've covered the tools we've covered the principle it's pretty straightforward um, now the problem you're going to have is this thing being stuck especially on this upper ring over here right it's been sitting in this case a really long time and what you're gonna do now okay so this is what we do I just use uh, spray bottles I use PB blaster because we go through a lot of this stuff but um, try and get uh, some PB blaster or equivalent and what you want to do is initially is you want to spray it I'm just gonna set this in here but this is pretty much you know excuse this I'm doing this one-handed and if you complain about my shaky camera then go watch something else all right so this is you all right you've decided you're down here you're gonna get this thing out now you've knocked one of these tabs down that was holding the ring in place and uh, this might need heat as well honestly by the time you're ready to take this out I would spray PB blaster in all these threads and just work around here with a blowtorch um, one of these is perfect um, I'll show you what I use. I actually use this Burnzomatic 8000 because it's really hot. Um, puts out a lot of heat and I'll actually just demonstrate to you. So spray some PB Blaster all around here and down the hole. Because what you want to do is you want to you get the PB Blaster to also go down the hole there all around. That's why I clamp it in a bench like this. Because the oil will go everywhere. And um, I'm just quickly going to demonstrate. Okay, I'll, I'll put a bit of heat on here and you just slowly move. And you, you work about 30 seconds aside and sometimes if you have the oil in the top here you can kind of watch it start to bubble. Once the oil starts to bubble then you've, you've reached a pretty good heat. It gets real thin and it really seeps down in there. Okay, and since I'm a semi-scientific man, I'm actually going to measure for you guys how far down the Mercruiser uh, O-ring sits. Because what you want to do is you want to heat up this side of the case all around. And you also want to heat up up top here that I just demonstrated, which is just below the ridge. Um, because you want to get that, that oil hot and thin. It turns into like a literally like an alcohol thin and it just gets right in there. Um, 
Uh, so anyways, you got your oil down there. You've run the torch around a few times. You've seen the oil bubbling. Uh, sometimes the oil catches light, catches fire, but it's not serious. Just blow it out. It gets a little smoky. You know, don't cry about it. <laughs> but anyway, so you got your oil in there. It's heated up. You got your tool in here now boom and you're one of the lucky ones and you manage to unscrew this ring now bear in mind this is a Merc Cruiser here right okay just read your manual you might have a different locking ring type anyways you get this out these two tend to get stuck sometimes you have to like pry them out with a screwdriver but they do come out all right you get rid of this guy and that okay now sometimes sometimes these are so stuck that you literally you have to drill them in two places maybe three uh, and break them out that's pretty serious duty it's possible okay so um, I'll get to that in a second now this thing I use with my Milwaukee I wear ear protection one inch socket and on maximum and um, I call it the problem solver but uh you know this this really is an absolute monster i need to try and uh, explain to you guys that there's a huge difference between impact force and breaker bar force breaker bar force puts a lot more strain on this than these do all right 99 percent of the time this thing is going to get anything undone all right if you're down to a breaker bar just get a really nice long pole Clamp it in a sturdy vise. You are not going to break this, I promise you. Unless you have a 100 foot long pole. And just unturn this. I mean, unscrew it, sorry. So, anyways. You generally should be able to get this out. Um, but if it really, 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 really doesn't budge. With that thing pounding on it. Then you might just have to drill it out. It's aluminum. And what you want to do is, uh, you know, usually a 3 8 or a quarter inch drill is about as thick as this section over here so obviously you don't want to really drill into the case but i've on occasion just kind of kissed the threads going down it, it's not going to do much damage but there's a possibility that you're going to have to drill this out knock chunks out and get a replacement all right well that's part one um and i'm sorry if i repeat myself a lot but i know that this is probably going to be longer than i planned it to be all right now Pulling this thing out is a whole kettle of fish. Now, there are some tools that you can buy online, um, and that's all good. But if you're really in a pinch, I'm going to show you some tricks, some things I do. Okay, now bear in mind, you need to understand there's different styles of carriers across the different brands. But let's just go down here and see what we've got. I have construction anchors that are threaded. How wonderful is that? And um, I usually kind of increase the angle a little bit on these ends. And if they're long, you might need to just snip them off so that you can fit them in here. But look at that. Perfect puller from a hardware store for three bucks. All right. Well, now you guys are saying, well, well, what now? Okay. Well, as you can see, I have a whole collection here. What's nice about these is if you have a dual prop and you need to get it all the way up, let's just say up to here, you just add another a nice uh, bolt on top of this a long bolt even an exhaust old exhaust manifold bolt all right so once you have uh, whatever jaws you're going to be using now obviously i have a shop and i have way too much of this stuff but look at some of these monsters i have i mean this is like robocop's toothpick or the terminator but this is monster if you're really on a budget you can go and you can rent one of these steering wheel i mean um, harmonic balancer pullers they're very strong and um you know for example you can put that up top here and you can have your little puller in there make sure you're behind one of these um these webbings don't just go off the side here like this you're gonna crack it out um, and pretty much whatever length you need you buy the bolts and heat is your friend and basically all you're gonna do is put some oil and grease on here and you're gonna turn and um this will break free this will, whole thing will slowly start to pull out. Now they're always a little tight coming out. Um, just do that. They, uh, they are a little tight coming out, but you will get it out. Now, 
once you're lucky and you have it out I'm gonna show you so these are the prop seals in here all right and what you got to do is you got to stick something down this end and once again heat is your friend these ones that are at such a deep angle makes a big difference um, putting some heat around here just to kind of break the Loctite up a little there's two of them in there they usually have stainless steel um, bodies and let me let me show you what I use you know I had a real cheap pry bar set this is junk I mean this is probably at the end of its life but I've kind of bent this and shaped it to where I can get it through from the inside Let me just demonstrate here again with one hand stick it in from there and put it in a vise and you can see how it's kind of contacting that seal perfectly let me get some light you see there it's right behind the seal you can you can try and do the outer seal first and then the the one that's deeper in and then from there it's pretty straightforward I'll just give you a couple of tips um, you know you put the two new seals in with some Loctite and what I like to do is I like to run these surfaces through a wire wheel you can take a hand drill uh, or a bench grinder and just get rid of all the corrosion that's around here um, and this side too if you have um, don't grind into the metal don't go nuts you know you'll see sometimes there's just a lot of white powder on there especially in the salt ones and um, grease everything up make sure it's clean and it literally will just tap back down literally you know once <laughs> I've sat and fought with these things for an hour sometimes to get them out they're so stuck and once you've cleaned it up and it's ready to go in it's like five taps with a mallet and it just goes right in grease everything use marine grease grease everything so you go back to put your carrier back in you've knocked it back down make sure that um, this shaft is not damaged over here this is the seals how they'll look when you put them back in and then drop in your little lock ring which is what I showed you before um, now as I've mentioned usually one or two of these tabs will always be facing down and you'll see that that little triangle mates in with the carrier over there so when you put this in you got to put the V perfectly in line and don't eyeball it from the side use the fin as a guide and get it exactly in line and then you can drop that triangle back in there let me just zoom in a little you see how that little triangle is going to fall in place and the it's going to sit flush one of these will be bent down and then you're going to come back in again with the um, the top nut oh, I don't even know where I just put it and grease it and grease all these threads all of it grease 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 and put it back together you don't always have to follow the torque specs as long as this thing's really tight and then you just bend one of those tabs back up and you're done and that's prop seals um, so I can't say I covered absolutely everything but seriously that is pretty much going to get you through the hole and um, I hope I ha it helped I was a little lazy to get part numbers for these but um, you guys can you guys can look through here so this is generally the newer style Volvos use this this is the kind of 2000s SX single prop style and here's the Bravo with the wrench duo props and then as I mentioned this is the El Cheapo I bought on eBay for 30 bucks and I've probably done about 50 drives of this already at least maybe a hundred and it's still holding up fine so thanks for watching guys and uh, try and keep the uh, quick and dirty videos coming and if it was too long I apologize and I'll try and edit it so that you can jump to the sections um, thanks for watching